Hi guys, I'm here to review the Samsung um, 65 inch Q6F QLED Smart 4K Ultra HD TV. This is the newly released 2018 model and I'm doing the unboxing video. So my husband's been helping me out and he's the one opening the box and this is how I received it. Completely packed and sealed in a black wrapping very nicely done and it was a hassle bringing this in because it weighs a lot it it was a 112 pound um, box which came in so uh, let's open this thing up and see how it works since I've been really excited to try this one out um, it's got great reviews already so let's try and see um, how this thing works now the box has um, everything written down on it as you can see on the side panel it shows that actually the front side is the other side and i had the box all the way wrong and you need two people to assemble this basically um, two people to take it out and the rest of the stuff and on the top you have um, basically a small guide like a quick guide on how you would unbox the um, TV how you would take it out of the box and the way you need to assemble it so I have turned um, the TV now to the front and you can see on um, the front side of the box I really like the packaging the the look the picture everything is so very nice and here you can see what all of the features of this TV are. It says clean cable solution. So basically that's you can um, insert the wires from the leg of TV. It has got ambient mode, uh, one remote, 4K uh, UHD resolution and four HDMI ports. Um, ambient mode, I will talk about it later on. It's really amazing. It's, it's a feature which surprises me. I mean, how it's done so uh, let's um, see on top um, what all is mentioned it's got q color q contrast q hdr motion rate 240 uh, smart tv with bixby voice um i've got bixby voice in my uh, samsung s8 phone as well and um this is a 65 inch tv it's a smart tv so it's got all the apps inbuilt in it and it's it's um got a very high resolution certified uhd and 4k ultra hd so basically it's it's the top of the line and i cannot wait to get it out of the box and start watching my tv on it so as you can see um i'm expecting so i could not be of much help taking the thing out but I did as much as I could so basically the box is really well made you just need to pull out the box this way and the TV is still in there so there's no heavy lifting as such required there and um, it's it's very nicely packed uh, with thermocol now this is the back side of the TV it's got a USB cable, um, two USB. The first one is just for power. You can give power to your devices via that USB. The second one uh, mentions HDD. So basically it's for hard disk drive, which you can connect on this. It's got the uh, power supply, the proper power supply for um, hard disk as well. Next is digital audio output, um, audio out optical next is hdmi in for arc there are four hdmi then we have lan um, we have xlink which i'm not really sure i'll have to check what that exactly is and lastly we have the antenna in now uh, we've got slots here for wall mounting the tv um the slots are there on both the sides of the TV and then here we have the power um, power supply area we insert the power socket there now here on the bottom is where you will put the 
leg of the TV and um, it's clearly mentioned uh, it's written L that means that's the left leg and it's very easy to set this up you just need to push it in and it slides right away inside and as you can see here um, the leg comes out that way and you can insert the wires through it so the wires would be concealed and it will not mess up your TV's look when it's on the table or it's wall mounted it's it will all be inserted inside so you can set up your um, devices in such a way that the left devices would go in the left um, the wires would go in the left leg and for the right devices the wires would go in there so Um, here we have the manual as to how we need to set up the legs of the TV, how we need to insert them, how we need to unbox the TV. So it's it's similar to what was mentioned on top of the box um, in a way. And uh, here we have a paper for reference as well. And this is the right leg of the TV and I'm just showing you how you need to insert it. Just press it and it goes right inside. So it's easily fixed. There is no hard work here. So finally I have put up the TV on the stand and I just want to show you one more thing. The TV has two um, stickers on the side panels. So basically this... Um, uh, the stickers on both the side it's just so that you can easily hold the TV and not damage the screen while taking it out of the box so that makes it really nice and easy for you to unbox the TV and the thing just peels off um, I'll just show you on one side how um, easily the sticker will come off and you can even keep it for yourself uh, with the box later on if in case you move or for whatever reason mm, you can just put it back in and then here we have the energy guide um, i'll peel this off as well and i'll just show you what else the tv came with so here we have the accessory kit I really like the way um, this thing came because it's it's like a small pouch and you can open and close it you can put put the stuff back inside again because the pouch is like resealable it's very easy storage a really really well made as you can see um, first we have the accessory kit in the accessory kit it mentions exactly the same thing which i showed you before um what all is there on the back of the tv we have the usb slot the hard disk drive slot then we have the optical in then we have the arc arc I, i'm assuming it's for um maybe the audio devices the bluetooth uh, player or something like that uh, so basically we have four hdmis then we have the LAN after that we had something called the X-Link which for some reason is not mentioned or rather um, pointed out in this and then lastly we have the antenna in here we have some paper from, for safety and precaution and next we have have the using accessibility function that's that's the small um, guide for the remote how to access the different uh, buttons of the remote then here we have um, the user manual the booklet it's still pretty small compared to what I have seen before with other TV models so it it shows um, how to set up the TV the menu the contents it's it has firstly how to install the tv then the samsung smart remote initial setup troubleshooting and maintenance 
specifications and other information here we have the remote i really like the packaging as i i mentioned before i'm saying it again so very well made um the remote is very very sleek very few buttons is somewhat similar to my amazon fire um tv remote and very different from my lg tv remote um it's so small let's see how that works we'll we'll see that later on this is the power cable and next um we have the wall mount and lastly we have the rim um two batteries for the remote now um let's start up the tv and see how this thing works so this is going to be the first time i'm switching on the tv so you so you can get a feel of how the tv works or rather um starts up for the first time Please download the SmartThings app on your mobile to start TV setup. You may press the right button to set up the TV with the TV remote. Please select your language. The accessibility function is available when you press and hold the volume button. I had already connected all the devices uh, to the TV um, while setting up, so I'm just going to switch them on. recommend you guys also um do the same so that it's easier um for the tv to recognize all your devices when you start up for the t uh, for the first time so i have just switched on my xbox and you can see it's showing connected in the hdmi slot now i'm gonna connect my ps4 So once I switch that on, it recognizes it too. And as you can see, um, it from red off, it turned to green and it uh, it's showing connected. I do have a Samsung account um, but I'm not gonna I'm gonna just skip that step for right now it's already showing that it's detecting a phone uh, for TV setup I'm just gonna skip that right now So the identification is complete and it's amazing to see that um, it's recognized exactly which um, device is connected to which HDMI so it's showing me that my PS4 and my Xbox One is connected 
and also i had connected my amazon tv which is shown as not um, identified because i have not switched it on if i switch it on with the remote it will show it so basically that's that and um here you can see the apps which are there on the tv um we have more options to put them on the screen but um these are the ones which are uh, selected right now and they will come up on the tv as soon as i'm done now it's the tv is asking to test your remote um basically you just need to press whatever button the tv is asking and it will set up the tv and the remote so this is the volume up and volume down the sleek button you just need to press it upwards and downwards now the tv is ready to use we are all done setting it up and um the first thing that came up is the default channels via the internet as you can see So now I'm going to start um YouTube and check how that goes. I was also um hoping to try the Bixby voice which I'm going to just um demo right now. On the remote of the TV um there is a button specifically for voice recognition and uh, there is a mic icon made on the remote. You need to keep it pressed and uh, speak whatever you want the TV to recognize. So keep pressing the button and just give the voice command and the Bixby app will recognize it. So let's try watching a trailer. I clicked on the mic button and I give the command Black Panther trailer. For some reason it took as Black Panther and it gave me the option to either search on TV or search on the web browser. I selected the web browser and you can see here that it opened up a browser just like it would on your laptop or on your phone and um it's giving me the option to play the trailer so the mouse click is from the remote the remote has a um, recognition there as well you can just hover um in front of the screen and it will play now let's explore the tv clarity i just played a 4k video and it's really amazing how crisp and clear the picture quality of the tv is uh, i'm i'm not uh, sure if it's coming up that clear via my camera but it's very very clear up front it's really nice clarity is awesome i can't say enough of how much i'm liking the video quality on the screen TV was a little bit better than this TV because um I used to listen on like maybe 10 or 15 and on this TV the similar sound comes when I at least put it up to 25 to 30 so that's just one point other than that the TV is really nice everything else um I really liked in this TV as for the ambient mode I will make another video on that just want to talk about it a little bit that it's it's a feature where it makes the background the wall the color and the pattern of the wall and that's what is displayed on the screen of the TV ambient mode feature is really cool when it comes to wall mounted TV and that's about it the TV is really a uh, user friendly it's very easy to maneuver easy to use the apps it's all right in front of you 
which I really liked. And that's about it. I hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.